Aviation operators are lobbying for a national aviation plan which will finally bring regulation to sectors that are becoming more modernized. They feel they are being left out of consideration when plans are made and for them that translates into having less control over the future of their businesses. Jiminita Swain tells us what's fueling their concerns. Operators in this country's aviation sector say they're losing mileage in their own industry. It's something CEO of Sky Bahamas, Randy Butler, has been lobbying for. There is no strategic plan in place, period. Right? And, and that goes to talk about aviation speaks uh, tourism development. Uh, people who come to spend night check come in a hotel. They come on airplanes for the most part. People are going to our family islands for the most part, come on airplanes. And there is no system or... Uh, right, uh, sorry, there just seemed to be no plan in place for that. Family Islanders depend on the aviation sector to travel throughout the country. President of the Association of Air Transport Operators, Anthony Hamilton, believes this issue is important, particularly when the role of domestic carriers is taken into account. It's a feeder situation going into the respective family islands. You think of uh, medical emergencies, business uh, uh, organizations in the, in the family islands needing the support of the ALF. In addition, the small hotels in particular, because what, what we're dealing with, the very business model of the domestic operators, we're dealing with breaking bulk. Captain Butler cited the new airport as another example of a need for a new aviation plan. He says typically, as airports are capacity-driven, operators are consulted in the process. But he claims that did not happen and with the opening of the new multi-million dollar domestic terminal, they are allegedly being forced to conform. Now you have a big airport you have there. You had a place and now you're saying that the locals are going to be taxed and the government is going to end up paying that bill for that airport because that's reality. Tourism is down, the economy is down, and you can't tax your people out of business. Both aviation officials would like to see a strategic plan and they're prepared to offer their expertise to make it happen. Chiminita Swain, ZNS Network News.